Okay, everyone. As promised, another informative videography video slash tutorial. Not really a tutorial, but just some cool things that I've come across in the last two years. And that is two ways to use Google products, meaning Studio Pro and Map and Google Earth in your own videos. So in this video, I wanted to take y'all through the two ways that I've used these free, completely free resources in my own videos in multitude of different projects. So let's get into that. And I'm going to point you to some tutorials. And if you want to get more detailed, if you're interested in it, and I'm also going to take you through a little bit of one of them. So let's get into this. The first technique I want to take y'all through is the GTA map effect. It was first done by Andreas Hem. And if you don't know who he is, who he is he's a very talented youtuber he owns his own production company up in like sweden i think uh somewhere up there in northern europe but so basically what this effect is and i've used this many times before in sports videos if the team is traveling or in my own videos if i'm traveling i used it in my vlog but basically what this technique is you are at a location straight above it zoom out through a 3d layer of clouds or planes or whatever you want in there and then you move over with some motion blur and then you zoom straight down in After Effects. So basically, it's a nice way to show a change of location in a short distance, long distances, it's very tedious. Essentially what the effect is, is you are taking a bunch of screenshots of Google Maps, and then you are piecing them back together in After Effects, and then you're adding a 3D camera, making all these layers 3D of course, 3D camera, and then moving that camera wherever you want it to focus in on. If you want the whole tutorial, I suggest you go check it out. It's a super, super useful tool. My second technique that I have been kind of doing recently in the last probably four or five months during COVID and stuff like that is using Google Earth Studio Pro. And this is an incredible, incredible tool for anyone, right? I mean, I saw USC football use it in a video. And basically what it is, is it allows you to go into Google Earth and it's like adding a camera and you can animate that camera and the tilt the pan, the speed, it goes through and, and you can go past buildings. It's essentially a replacement for a drone, like a very, very great value version of a drone. So if you are in a place where you don't want a drone, let's say like Golden Gate Bridge, maybe you're scared, you're gonna get in trouble or something, which I know I have been before, that would be a great replacement for the drone. Basically, all you gotta do to get into Google Earth Studio Pro is it's kind of a beta version right now. So what you gotta do is go in, you just look up Google Earth Studio Pro on there and there'll be a little application sheet and you can put in like whatever email you want and just say, I wanna use it in my YouTube videos or for educational purposes. I use my Georgia email that's still active. They pretty much let every, everyone sign up. Now there is a big watermark on this tool when you do export and you're also gonna need After Effects for this. Whenever you export that animation there, it'll kind of give you a watermark and you can scale in and stuff. I, I, I recommend being careful where you use this footage if it's for profit and whatnot, but definitely a super useful tool. Both of these are very super useful tools to use in your own videos, whether it's you're making travel videos, you're making videos for a sports team, or maybe you're making an educational video of like a monument or the history of New York City and Manhattan. That's something else I can see this stuff being used for. But anyway, if you want more detailed information on these two techniques, let me know below and I will link tutorials and interesting videos I think that you should watch if you are inter interested in going deeper into these techniques. I'm gonna link those below. So thanks for watching again, short video. We're gonna be back next week with some tutorials as well. Appreciate y'all, like and subscribe.